So hello everyone. So now we you are coming here for the you know the problem which is this secure apps access which is no longer available obviously you know trying to connect so the secure app it says can I try with like secure apps blah 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 and you try you know you go more secure apps you know this is on you know you do this the secure apps you're on this page and you're trying to connect your you know mail address trying to automate something and this is the problem you're facing this some apps it's not immediately turned off this setting is not available not consistent even if it doesn't have to factor authentication it doesn't work because that is why you are here and it says let's secure apps uh, but i but i got you this don't worry i i, I have a solution for this you know what you do you go to your security pages you know settings security come here Turn on the two-factor authentication. So click given mobile number, sign in, and then what we do is you come here. If you didn't do two-factor authentication, you can't see this set if this app password. You can't see this if there is no two-factor authentication. You turn it on, you click app passwords, and this is the page that you have. I have given this, you know, to send, you know, automated mails from my system. I brought a code, so it doesn't matter. You're trying to connect to another software, whatever it might be, whatever app it might be. You come here, you know what you're trying to do. Click app. I don't know. You want to send mails, calendars, contacts, send messages. I don't know. You know, whatever you want to do. And other, if it's other, you just give other, you know, I don't know. Whatever you want, then give the name, custom name, Xbox or blah, 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 or Splunk maybe, and then generate the password, you know, and then you have this password, which is not your account password, but the password for the app. Once this is done, it's literally nothing. You just copy this and then paste. So this way it is more secure, so you don't have to give your password i mean your account password so that it's not a big problem so you click this you copy and paste and use in your code or the external you know that's that you're trying to connect or whatever it might be splunk let's say you connect this this will be working perfectly fine this is the you know new update it's been you know, so long but now i thought i can make a video about it so this is how you do it so I hope it was helpful. So see you in another one, guys. Be safe. Bye, bye, everyone.